4.1c, Averages, Weighted Mean. A weighted mean or weighted average are values that occur more often have a larger impact on the average or the mean. To calculate the total, we multiply the value by the frequency or how often it occurs. We will look at this in the following example. In example one, it states, in a survey, students were asked how many siblings they had. The results are shown below. Calculate the average number of siblings of the survey responders. First, we must determine which of these columns is the value and which is the frequency. The value is what we're looking at, so the number of siblings is the value. The frequency, or how often, is the number of responses. Next, we must multiply each of the values times the frequencies. The first value is zero siblings, and there were eight responders. Zero times eight is zero. In the second, the value was one sibling and 38 responses which gives us 38. In the third, we have 2 times 21, which results in 42. In the third, we have 3 times 15, which results in 45. And finally, we have 4 times 2, which results in 8. After we have multiplied all of these, we must then find the total When we add these up, we get 133. We then must find a second total, and that is the total number in the frequency column. When we add up the frequency column, we get 84. We then must do the total divided by the frequency total. The total was 133, and we need to divide that by 84. When we type this into the calculator, we find that the answer is 1.58. This is the average number of siblings for this survey. In example two, we look at another weighted mean. In this weighted mean, we're looking at GPA, or grade point average. Grade point average is calculated as a weighted average. The credits of a course are considered the frequency of the course. In this way, classes that are more credits have a larger effect on grade than classes with fewer credits. Calculate the GPA of the following report card. In the example above, it showed that we had frequency was the credits. Therefore, if the frequency is the credits, the grade must be the value. Now that we know the columns of frequency and value, we may multiply each. When we multiply the frequency and value of the English course, we get 12.8. That of the math course is 20. The history course is 8.4. And finally, the PE course is 0.7 or 0 0.7. Remember, we then must add up this value to find the total. 
when we add this up, we get 41.9. We then also must add up the frequency column. As you can see, the frequency column is not in the same location as it was in example one. You must ensure that you are picking the frequency column, which is why labeling the tops of the columns may be helpful. When we add the frequency column, we get 13. Remember that we are doing the total divided by the frequency. The total was 41.9 and the frequency was 13. When we type this into the calculator, we get an answer of 3.22. Grade point average is always rounded to the hundredths place, which means there are always two decimal places in a grade point average. In summary, finding a weighted average or weighted mean means that you must first identify the frequency column, then the value column, multiply all frequencies times values, add up that to give you your total, and then add up the frequency column to give you your total frequency. You then divide the total by the frequency to find the weighted mean.